So I just want to give a shout out this week to a wood turner and he's a wood worker as well and his name is Stephen Ogle and Stephen does a lot of different things every time you come onto Stephen's channel he has a different thing every week or every video you don't know what to expect from him you could have a hollow form you could be making a fan extractor you could be making painting a, a bowl he could be doing a tea light anything he's he's unpredictable he has great videos and anything from chainsaw and wet tone and he's lots to offer so i'm going to put a link down below the usual down here to click and if you haven't some of you might know him and a lot of you probably do go and click on the link check out his channel and subscribe and check him out he's a Great wood turner and great woodworker. Go and have a look at these videos, okay? So, so this week's project I'm going to do is multi axis turn off center, and you, you probably see me making this a good while back. It's a drinks vessel with a twist, okay? So I'm always wanting to get back and do some more with this and take it on to another level. I want to make this into a box but okay this here now to be a box it's a bit high but I want to make it shorter and put a lid on it and a nice finial on it okay and I'm, this is a bit of wood that I'm going to use okay but I'm just going to make it shorter a darker lid different wood and a different wood for a finial on the top of it okay so that's what I'm going to do. I know there's a video there, how, I have a video of how to make this multi x this twisted mug. But what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to make it and then take it onto another level and turn it into a, into a nice little box. And the more shorter you make these vessels, the more severe the twist becomes in them. The more detail you can get the twist in it, okay? So I'll just put her on the lathe here, and we'll go quick. We'll go through the whole process, and you'll see how to do, how to do it. Okay. A piece of silver birch between centers. Just going to turn her into a cylinder, and I'll just take you through the stages as I go. Let's use a roughing out gouge. Now this uh, blank I have here is probably a bit more than what I want. I actually should have cut it a bit thinner. I actually might actually take it down and make it a bit smaller. I actually wanted it 3 inches. It's actually 4. I'm actually going to cut this down a bit more. Take a half an inch off it. So just give me a minute. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. What I did was I made the blank a bit smaller because for the box that I wanted it's probably going to be too too big because you wouldn't get your fingers into it. Now what I'm going to do is make it a depth gauge. I'm going to put a tenon at each end and the tenon is basically for a marker for the depth that you're going to put your spirals at or your twists. And the base you put a a, a smaller tenant and a bigger tenant on the base and a smaller one on the top and I'll just show you as I go so I'm just going to put a small little tenant in here it's going to be the base from the top. Okay. 
and one is deeper than the other. That's the base and that's the top. Then I'm going to mark these so I'll be able to see them. I'm just going to use this colour marker here. Next stage what I'm going to do is use my indexing system on the lathe to divide the piece into three. So I'm going to put three indexes on the end of the piece here. On both ends the same. I'm going to use my indexing system. And I'll just mark that out by three. If you don't have an indexing you can use a compass. Then I'm going to mark in half my step centers. My step centers is 20 mil. So I'm going to mark in 10 mil on that piece there. So it's 10 mil there. And I'm going to put a line all the way around. And so broke. Right, 10 mil all the way around. And then I'm just gonna just mark them with a bridle. Just there. And I'll do the same the other end. Okay. And I'll take you on to the next stage. Next stage, <coughs> just gonna number each one of them. One. Two and three, and the same this end here. That one will be number one, number one down here, number two, number two here, number three, number three here. So on each end you have one, two and three and number one is the same on the other end. You have number one, number one there, number two, number two, number three, number three. But when you're putting them in, in between centres you have number one goes to number two. Okay, number two goes to number three, number three goes to number one. So you got one, two, or three that way. And then it's the opposite then. Three, two, one. So your piece is off center, see? See what I mean there? So I'm gonna start off with number one on this end, going to number two on this end. Okay, so I'm going from one to two on the tail center from headstock. Okay. And what you do is you turn it down to this little tenant. That's my depth and turn it down there to that. And then I'm gonna turn then I'm gonna cut myself out in the centre here a cove just in the middle. I'm gonna bring this into the centre and bring this into the centre. So it's gonna make a cove. Then I'm gonna move the piece onto number two. And I'm gonna bring it from two to three. Do the same again. Make a cove. Bring it down to that mark. Bring it down to that mark, and then make a cove. Then I'm gonna move it again. The same again. I'm gonna bring it from three to one. Bring it down to that mark. Bring it down to that mark. And make a cove. And that'll be the fi piece finished to the shape that I want. Okay. So I'll quickly go through this. I won't bore you with all of this. So I'll quickly go through all the toner and get the shape that I want ready for a box. But all of this is already done on one of my videos. So you can go and have a look at how this is done on one of my videos. So I'm gonna go through this real quickly. 
And the last time I was down there, I found the spindle rough and gouge worked really good for me with my hands the way they are. So I'm going to use the spindle rough and gouge to do this one. Okay, and using a small spindle rough and gouge, I found it works better for me. But a spindle the spindle gouge is meant to be the, what the use, so it's entirely up to yourselves. So I find this is the tool that works me, works for me. So it, everybody has their, their their ways. Just stop and show you that's as far as I've taken it down, just to the edge of that, just to the edge of the coloured mark. Now it's just going to make it into a cove. I don't move the tool rest, that's the depth that I'm going to bring it. So I'm going to take it in a bit more in the centre in a cove shape. Okay, so I'm happy with my depth there, depth there. So it does take a bit out of the centre. Okay, that's segment number one done. And just move down there to number two now. I'm going to start on number two. Same again, just going to break it down into a cove. Same again. Okay. Take the edges off with Stand that up now and move on to number three. Moving on now to number three. Just going to take it down to the markings, to the depth indexes on both sides. Take it down here, take it down there. You see that? That's it. Okay, that just needs a bit of sanding. Just going to sand that up and move on to the next stage. Okay, next stage, I'm just going to put a tenant on the end here so we can put the piece in a chuck. blank in the chuck and I'm just going to clean up the face over here with a spindle gouge and uh, get it ready for hollowing now and then I'm going to use an unfortunate bit to us to clean out the inside of it stage I'm just going to put a little rebate where the lid sits. I'm going to use the skew chisel, run it on the side, just go in there, head straight.
Okay. <clears throat> now, happy with that. <clears throat> That's ready for sanding up. Got a jam choke there, and I have the box inside it. And I'm just going to turn this spigot off the end of the box and clean up the end of the, the box here and that's it, it will be finished. What I'm going to do next is make the lid for the box and I'm going to use this piece of wood here, it's a piece of bog you and it's a bit bit of colour in it, it's kind of purpley, it's nice and nice colour in it. So I'm going to use that for the lid and okay, I've got, got my piece in the choke here, just going to clean it up. Here's my little tool now. I'm just going to be using this here, like I showed you as I'm making it last week. I'm going to use that in there now and drill a little hole. Get me finial now, I'm going to get it in there. Just going to make a finial. Sanding time. Put a bit of finish on the box and just gonna part it off. Next job. 
Playing up the inside of the lid. Okay, just finished up there. We'll finish on the inside of the lid. Just take it off there. Just pop it out of the little jig. Give it a wipe. I'll be able to buff it up now later on. Okay, that's the lid done. Now I have to finish the lid. Put finish on the box itself and buff it. I'm not going to put any finish. I'm not going to stick that finial on yet because I'm not actually sure whether I'll go with that finial. I'm going to make up a couple and see what I think. I'm going to put some finish on the finial and put some finish on the box. Make up another finial. There you go, there's the finished project. A box with a twist. Now I made up a couple of finials and there they all they all there. Okay. I had enough of them. <laughs> I am not going to change this one. That's the one I decided on. Okay, I'm happy with that one. <laughs> there's six of them there. Okay, I am that's my one. Now, so thanks very much for watching everyone. I hope you all liked the video and I'll see you all next time, okay? There you go.